in the last lesson we studied how to create a method which accepts size as input and returns an array filled with natural numbers so we are going to work the same we are going to do the same but this time we are going to fill the array with random numbers since is pretty much almost same i will do the same here public static int generate random numbers i'll create an array of size whatever the size has been sent as an input but here when i'm going through the array iteration by iteration one by one instead of adding the natural number here i will assign a random number we know that one in one lesson i thought you how to generate a random number i will add that code here int make sense so let's call this method now i'll go here and i will say as a int random array equal to calculator dot generate random numbers let's say i will generate some 10 random numbers this will say so only six natural numbers and this time i want to print the random array that also i will send it as an input here so i'll see the output as one two three four five six and then 10 natural numbers see this is the advantage of using method we created the method once that is print array we are calling it as and when we need it isn't it isn't it this is natural numbers random numbers for a moment of time let me hide this i don't want this code See, every time we execute 10 10 random numbers are getting generated which is filled in the array then we are printing the contents of the array okay this is an another program where we return an array from a method